Okay, what we have here is a 2000 Honda Foreman electronic shift. This is a 450 ES. Now, if you're like me, you get sick and tired of chasing gremlins, you go to shift, nothing happens, and you have to get your little manual shift tool and put on it. Um, what we're going to do is make this permanently manual shift so I can quit having to worry about losing that tool. So what we need to do is get down in here and we need to get that right there. That's the shift motor. Need to get underneath, pull that out, and gut it so we're not fighting it every time we try to do the manual shift with this right here. Okay, if you've never been done anything on one of these before, it's not too difficult. First thing we need to do to get to that motor is we need to drop the skid plate underneath. And underneath there are one, two, three, four, five, six 12 millimeter bolts that we need to drop to get to the motor just right here. Okay, before you start trying to release the motor, you need to come in, this connector right here, that is your shift motor connector. You'll need to undo it. It just twists and pulls out and down in a little further on top of the motor. See if I can get my hand down in there. Is that little right there? That's your uh, bank angle sensor. You'll need to disconnect it. There's just a little tab top. You squeeze it that way and pull it straight out. Okay, now we're ready to take the motor off. You're going to take off two 10 millimeter bolts and they are on each side of this cover, the uh, bank angle sensor cover. You remove those and then there's one, two, there's one here and one up above it on the top of the motor. And these are eight millimeter um, bolts. Uh, you take those out and just pull straight back in the motor and watch uh, the gears that they don't, they, they could slide out. Okay. Here's our shift motor. What we're going to do. So when we shift from this, we're going to be shifting directly to the transmission as opposed to going against the pressure of the motor. So we're going to take this out and we're going to take this out and we're going to take that out. We could probably leave that in, but let's just take everything out that's clean. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all this, put it in a baggie, put it in your favorite spot to save stuff for the projects that you've worked on in case we ever decide to go back to uh, uh, automatic shifting or electric shifting. Um, now we're going to uh, bolt this back up how we took it off. Okay, when you get it all buttoned back up, um, the shifting ought to have a little bit more snap to it uh, without the drag of the motor. Not anything you have to do to go all manual, but um, you're just eliminating something that's going to cause a little bit of problem when you're, uh, when you're shifting. 